Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista back from Second Chance Creation. <clears throat> this is a special video and um, this is actually a video for Deb Hendricks and because um, she, she commented a few times on my skins and she really wished that she could make them. Well Deb, this is for you because they are really, really easy to make. And I'm just going to try um, this little photo because I, um, my husband had a book about ge uh, genealogy, ge genealogy and this was on the front cover. So I just photocopied it and um, I'm going to see how that goes because I don't have any more um, vintage photos. So um, Deb, this video is for you. So what I've done is I've, um, I'll just zoom out, I've um, prepared some pattern paper it can be any pattern paper. The only pattern paper that won't do is um, I found was had a, the one with the grey colour. I like the ones with the tan colour. So I've got a really big box here. Oh, sorry, a really big box full here, and uh, it's the size of a um, carton of beer. No, we didn't drink it. it. Was our friends, and I was been collecting those boxes. So, um, but come on, summertime, I'll probably have a beer or two at night time. So yes, yeah, so Deb, um, this is what I do. I've got some PVA glue and I've added just a little bit of water um, to it. Um, not much, just so that the consistency is still runny and but not sort of gluggy and too thick. So yes, yeah, so I've done that and I'm using just an old brush that I've had for yonks that I only use for PVA glue. So let's get cracking because I've cut these um, you know into a size that's going to be pretty cool so I'm just going to um, brush this one and you've got to have some plastic sheeting underneath that won't um, where the glue won't stick to and I've used an old um, um, it was a, a bag from that had cereal in it from a cereal box those bags they're pretty good so I'm just popping now sometimes I leave the plain ones to last because that's where I can put the photo on so I might do that I just put that you can put that in any way you like and look there's no right or wrong way and when I saw um, Zagita um, do a small tutorial on it I thought oh I can do this and I've got so much of this paper you know, when you start journaling, you collect everything you can lay your hands on. And then you're figuring out, well, why did I buy all this? Well, it's coming to good use now. And one more. It doesn't matter, you know, what you've got. Uh, print is good because you can then um, see it. And the, the, um, the longest part is probably the drying. Now, I don't have a heating tool. I actually use my hair dryer so if you want to miss that step fast forward it because it is pretty loud I mean we all know how to dry but I didn't prepare anything in advance so I just wanted to show Deb how I make these so now I'm going to I'm going to see how this works now I'm going to um, make it so I don't sort of want to see that but I don't mind seeing a bit of writing and I always like to um, you know a bit of, of um, what says and I always like to make a bigger skin mainly because you can keep all that part make a tag out of it or use it for collaging so yeah so I'm not sure how this is going to go so away we go and I put the clear piece on top I could have put put have put that glue on first I think I might just do that and I'm just not sure how this is going to go because it's not a magazine cut out it's just a printed on an, oh yeah yep and look I don't mind if there's a little bit of a crease because I can't do too much remember this is only paper and if it gets too wet, it'll probably crinkle up. But that's okay. So I won't go over it too many times. So yeah, so and then on here I'll just splash her on. 
be generous with it. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. The only difference is um, your photos. I found that photos that have got more white on them come out better than the ones that are grey. So if you've got someone that has a, a black dress, you know, um, it might not be as good. And then I try to make sure that some of these air bubbles are out because you're going to just there. And look, that paper's gone all whooshy now. It's got a little thing in there now because it got too wet because it's not magazine paper I just put my finger I just see how it comes up when it's drying okay so um, my heating tool is my dryer let's go for it you can just fast forward this And then I'll just gently lift this up. Ooh. And I'll just lift this up a little bit just to make it dry a little bit faster. pretty quick and then I like to press it down and dry this a bit more on the back Love it. So there you go. And doesn't that look cool? It's still damp, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And um, it didn't come out too bad, which is great. So, yes, and then what I do is I just sort of cut it a little bit. But if I'm not using it, I store them. There's a bit of an air bubble there, but that's okay. Um, it's not near the photo. But once you cut that out, it depends how much you want to um, show. You know, you can use all these. But what I do is to tidy it up. So when I store it, um, I just take off these straggly bits. Just for my own, for my own visual benefit, of it, I should say. Okay. There you go. So that didn't really take that long, and I usually do them at night time. And then, you know, they're partially dry and then I'll leave them, let them sit overnight and um, they come up really good. But the feel of it is just, you know, you can scrunch them up and they're very strong. So this one's for you, Deb. And as a matter of fact, I might even send you this one, Deb. Christmas is coming up, so there you go. So, um, yes, uh, let me know of your thoughts of what you thought of this. It's pretty quick. Um, to little tutorial and... Um, the next video is a project share of um, what I used, uh, what I made with um, one of my skins. All right, until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.